Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19, I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on the Bjarktop Court. So I'm repositioning my tools back to main farm. So I got the, oh sorry, the wrapper there on the back and I'm going to put this over here somewhere and I'm going to do, do some TMR. Or what's my plan anyway, my idea. Uh, if we can get this going. Uh, just need to put this somewhere. Or maybe we should do... No, we'll do some TMR. I think we'll do some TMR. I need to figure out how far we need to... Uh, how much bales we need to put in our... Need to put in our... in our new mixer. Let's see, I'll go over here. That's one, Let's see, Here's this one. Bring this back to the farm too, and also the other two. I haven't sold off those bales of silage. I'm going to do that some other day, or some other time. I'm going to. That's no problem. We'll, I mean, in real life, they were supposed. To, I mean, they have to ferment too, so you wouldn't be able to sell them off at once anyway. Is it cool? I like this one. This is a really cool. It was expensive, but it makes the process of uh, mowing really fast, and easy, uh, which I like. That's good. That's uh, a really good thing. Uh, <laughs> actually, I need to go help my daughter. I, I'll just be a second. I need to go and help her bring have the cheese she needs she's making breakfast for herself I think and she needs cheese so I'm gonna I'll be just a tiny 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 second there wait a minute be right back back sorry about that um <laughs> you might have fall fast forward a bit this bit okay uh, so repositioning these back to the farm and then we're going to do some tmr we're going to take a look at the volvo wheel loader also which is a really cool one It is a really cool one, actually. I really like that one. We also need to do some more. Um, 
um, lime spreading. Uh, we need to spread some lime on a few more fields. So I spread on two, but we need we have two more fields we need to spread lime on before next cycle or season or whatever you want to call it. I don't know why it's not. There's no weed growing. I don't know why. If there's something wrong there or what it is. Need to re go refuel this one too, actually. Well, at some point. We'll, do, we'll put this here, I think. And this one. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use this one for the TMR. Um, TMR mixer. Because it has the power. I don't think you need a lot of power though, but this one has a lot of power if you need it, so I think that's probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. So, what else is going on in my life? Well, work, work. And a little bit weekends and work and weekends and work. That's pretty much my life, uh, which I don't mind. I, I I really like my life. I think I have a good life. So that's pretty awesome, actually. So, so we'll put the baler here. We'll go hook this up to the uh, TMR mixer. We go there. Okay. So to get that, I just and we're gonna just show you the uh, wheel loader first here, which is over here. So this is my wheel loader. This is a pretty awesome thing. I got the 10,000 liter bucket. I got the knock-in wheels. Um, I got the L70F. Not you, you can have a 60 or 80, I think, or 70. I got 70. So, some reason it always looking back backwards, which is weird, but. We're just going to show you how it works by grabbing and cleaning up the uh, the animal part here. So if we can see, see a little bit better. It does also have this really cool light bar, which I like. It's really cool, and the lights are pretty awesome. A lot of lighting. We don't need that at our farm though, because we are the only one here. Okay, so let's see, zero degrees. Uh, five, did that work? I think it did work. I don't know if it got all of them. Yes, it does. Yes, it did. Just go empty this over here. So, really, I really nice in it's a nice interior. Not, I mean, it's not the it's a nice interior. I like this. All the stuff you need, all the tools you need, and that sort of stuff. So, it's a good wheel loader. It's a really good wheel loader. The outside is really nice looking, and the function is excellent. No problems there at all with anything. So loading up the manure spreader will be really easy. I haven't decided though. Maybe I sh should get one of those. Um, what do you call them? Um, nice one. Um, oh, what's it called? No, oh, what's the word? Um, maybe I should get a greenhouse. I've been just thinking about that. Maybe I should have a greenhouse. Okay, so that one holds 28,000, it actually holds 29,000 something. 
but if you go 28 you will go what's that 28 I need a calculator sorry um, so 28 divided by 4 so 7 bales so we if you, you want to divide that if you were to put two straw bales, three silage bales, and two, two hay bales. So well, we'll try it. We'll try that. See if it works. Uh, I don't know if it will work, but we can try it. So two, two hay bales, two straw bales first, and then three silage bales. going on how much do you oh these I felt good so two two hay bales and two straw bales and then we'll see if this works I'm not sure it will work but it will see Two hay bales, two straw bales, and then three silage. Bales. My silage bales are a complete mess, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. So we'll see how that works. Because I accidentally hit them. <laughs> so they're <laughs> like a complete mess. It sucks. Maybe we'll get. I don't know if we can get three at a time. We could get three at a time if they weren't stacked this badly. Uh, we'll go with two first. in the way here. So if I calculated this right, there will be 28,000 liters in there and it should be at a pretty good ratio. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that, but we can see. So let's get out of here and here. So how does it look? Well, it looks, it looks good. Twenty-eight thousand liters, ninety-five percent, and also the mixing ratio is good. That's that's perfect. Let's see uh, on the tip side left. Okay, good. Let's see how this looks. Slowly emptying. That's good. Let me see. It's not making much difference. There. It will take quite a 
a lot of loads to fill this up. But I knew that. Ooh. So, three of these bales and two of the other ones. It's easier when we get to the stack, the bales that actually are stacked still. And get this on here, which might be problematic, we'll see. I, I should have just gone back and forth with two of these. We say we're taking less time. And now my son is yelling for something. I don't. It's with my kids today. I'll we'll just put this in. I have to go check on him. Sorry about this episode. Sorry about having. Come back. Oh, will I get it in there before it slides off? Wait a minute. Terribly sorry, I'm back. Uh, it's the thing about being a parent. This now actually, it's hard. I was going to record this episode last night, but um, my fiance was up late, uh, what well, late at the same time as me, and uh, so it didn't end up like that way. He Uh, 
so I, I couldn't basically record it last night, so I had to record this this morning uh, when my fiance is sleeping because we shared the same room, uh, and I just she thinks she keeps laughing at me when I'm recording and and she's in the room, so that's probably if you think my kids are a nuisance <laughs> when when you look at the recordings, you have no idea how much a, la a person a grown up laughing in the background would be a nuisance. Telling you it would be a bigger nuisance. Okay, so two bales here. food they actually use my cows here I'm gonna go fetch the next load too still have the like one grass field left to do silage on and also have the old, all those silage bales to sell and then I need to fertilize everything again thousand liters and go into this so um, I mean it does I think you, we actually do save times uh, save time save a bit of time doing it this way um, with a bigger mixer because you, a little, it's a little less time to put uh, all the bales in here and, and uh, it goes pretty fast emptying it even too so 53,000 356,000 but we're like on sixty thousand we're like half there to where we need to be. Also need to do some straw. Um so it does take a bit it, it does take a bit of effort just at least to get it up to the level where it needs to be. To be full. We don't need to fill it up, I mean they have enough TMR to to hold them uh, for quite some time, so it's not, I mean, it's not a big issue. Let's take from the outside. Okay, I think we. these bales and then the silage bales. Actually I think we might need to produce some more silage. We, which, I mean with the silage wrapper we have now we may, might just sort of uh, do that on our last grass field which we haven't mowed yet and we'll make silage bales and leave them there and we can go fetch them there when we need them. At one, That's one way of doing it. This is a bit of a pain though. I was so stupid. I was driving something, some tool, and I was like, oh, damn it, there's the bales. And I was like, oh, damn it, they fell over. So it was my fault, and I was completely unnecessary and so stupid. Just very stupid. Mm -hmm. 
So someone would I think it was, was I think it was former client or some I think it was former client who talked about the the Anderson DLC and then in fact that it's kinda cool that um I mean now they actually you de-wrap them before you put them in a mixer, which is probably mm, a little bit more realistic than how you how you do it like this. You just put the wrapped bales in there and that it's sort of weird because you wouldn't put wrapped bales just in in a mix like that. Oh, sorry. Bad. It has a really good turning radius. <laughs> it turns really fast. That's good. It's been raining a lot in the game these last few in day games for some reason, which I can't explain. Oh, what did I turn it off? I need to turn it off. I should probably turn it off, but. That would mean you would have to turn it off and on a lot. screen so I mean we have it, it produces quite a lot so it was 90 when we started this episode now it's 20,000 years so uh, that's pretty awesome but they will eat a lot of food We'll do one more load here and then we'll go and end this episode basically. Um, and we'll see what we'll do on next episode. I don't know, maybe straw blowing or something else or maybe we'll do some lime spreading on the next episode or we'll do oh we'll see by the way the horses are getting up to I think they have like two in day games uh, before we can sell them at max profit, so that would be a cool million or something, million and a half maybe. That would be a lot of money. Uh, hard know to what to drive, how to drive this. They also have all of those Silas bales up there, which we did on the last episode. So now we need one more. So my kids yell at me again. I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't teach them to be so independent. Unindependent. What do you mean? It's the opposite of independent. Dependent, of course. <laughs> God, silly. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so let's empty this and then we'll end this episode. It will be pretty perfect time-wise because we're up to 29 minutes. Of which, like, four minutes probably went like, was me, you looking, staring at the screen while I was helping my kids. So, anyway, we'll stop the episode there. So, anyway, um, thank, thank you for watching this episode of the Bjerg Top Gord map for FS19. I'm Andy. If you liked this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon.
Bye bye.